bondholders, representatives, and advisors are fully familiar with restructurings and restructuring efforts. They know the steps. It's a choreographed operation, if I may put it like that. And we all know how to go about doing it. And we all know what the initial reactions are going to be and what the final result is going to be, that there will be a negotiated settlement and solution. Because nobody wants to have an, a disorderly situation existing. So then in all this song and dance, if I might describe it as that, the Belizean people are hearing conflicting views coming out from the international media and certain um, commentators on the local scene. For the ordinary man and woman on the street, should they be worried about this uh, debt renegotiation? What I would say is that one would expect that the international commentators, who are basically representatives of the bondholders, will not be happy. And they would be, I guess, harsher than they need to be. Mm -hmm. But this is all part of a restructuring operation. Nobody wants to um, get back less than they thought that they would. Mm -hmm. And what you would hear them saying is, oh, yes, we expected that Belize would need a restructuring. And we agree in principle with the fact of a restructuring. But we never expected the terms to be so harsh. Mm -hmm. But does one expect them to say anything different? If you are negotiating, you take the hardest possible line that you can. Mm -hmm. So there will be a negotiated solution? I am absolutely confident of that.